This is not financial advice. It's not legal advice for entertainment, educational purposes only. And everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all the YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. So you know I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data, but like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. Listen, we are gonna mow ass very, very soon. This is just my opinion. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell based on what I say in these videos, but everything I'm seeing, the hedge funds are done. Citadel is done. Credit Suisse is done. Deutsche Bank is done. UBS, <laughs> they're probably done. In the, and I, I, I know people that work at UBS, but UBS is, is, is probably done. Or, or if not done, they're going to have to do a major, major restructuring. Here's the thing. Fitch, Moody, S&P, they have downgraded Citadel to just above junk bond status i mean that is some serious stuff that tells you that they have little confidence in citadel surviving this fiasco and it, and the thing is credit suites and citadel probably have the most amc shorts but i i believe and it's just my opinion that credit suites probably has the most because I believe Credit Suisse inherited a lot of the AMC shorts through the Arcagos fiasco. And what's going to happen is because Meta is down, because Apple is down, because Amazon is down, because Microsoft is down, the margin calls are imminent. And they can fight it, and they can fight it as much as they want, but there's no way out for them. The only way out is to crash and burn and then restructure. You're only about to crash and burn and restructure. So at this point, when the whole market collapses, and I tell you every day, I believe after the midterms, the, the market is going to collapse. And that's just my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong, but I believe the market is going to collapse after the midterm elections. But once the market collapses, once Microsoft hits probably 52-week lows, once Meta hits 52 weeks lows, once Apple hits 52 weeks lows, once Amazon hits 52 week lows, what are the hedge funds gonna do? Because remember, a majority of these hedge funds, they all think the same. And, and, and I'm saying that to say this, they're all long in the same companies because these are blue chip companies that you never expect to actually lose money like this. But like I tell y'all every day, the reason they're losing money like this if the SEC's for. Because if the SEC was doing their job, if the SEC was doing what they were supposed to do, a lot of these companies wouldn't be involved in all this criminal activity because they would know there would be consequences. But because SEC's not doing their job, these bad actors, these hedgies, their co-conspirators, they get involved in these high-risk criminal activities because they believe that, of course, they're going to make an astronomical amount of money. But it's not just that. If they're caught, there's no real penalties for involving themselves in these criminal activities. If the SEC was doing their job, if the SEC was fining these guys so much to deter them from involved, being involved in this criminal activity, the market wouldn't be in the situation it's in right now. The reason the market is so bad is because the SEC refused to do their job and allow these bad actors to continue on this course of action. And the SEC should have been fining these guys and the cases that were so terrible, so criminal, so out of control, they should have been referred to the DOJ and they didn't. And that's why the economy crashed in 2008. They did the Dodd-Frank stuff in 2010 and now we got 2008 all over again, and I'm gonna leave. And I believe, and it's just my opinion, this is gonna be a lot worse than 2008. Bottom line is this: the SEC needs to be broken down. They need to be restructured, and they need to start finding these guys. They need to start referring the the cases that are outrageous to the Department of Justice for 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 criminal prosecution. 
And if they did that, a lot of the problems we have with our economy right now wouldn't be there. And that's just my opinion. Anyway, we are going to see the MOAS. We're going to see a generational transfer of wealth. And after that, hopefully the SEC will restructure and become the agency that they were meant to be. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.